America the Free has been an amazing insider for years and years and always asks such good questions. So uh, the question is, how do you see the United States being reborn? Will it take a full scale collapse like the Soviet Union or MAGA states breaking off as their own countries or a ground up populist revolt that will bring a completely new class of politicians who will stand for our agenda? So that is so it's the last one that we're hoping for. That's the one we're hoping for. We're always going to have an elite. You're always going to have an elite. No way around. It. You're always going to have society vertically defined. Right. Uh, Jordan Peterson all taught us all about the Pareto principle. Even in communist governments, you always had. In a, 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 I know it's astonishing to even think about it, but Ocasio Cortez is an elite socialist. She's made it to the top. Of social, you're always going to have a top, the, but but you want what Aristotle uh, referred to. What was the term that he used? I think it was something like an aristopopulism of some kind. You want a balance between the 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 haves and the have-nots, the few and the many. Haves being the ones who are very wealthy. There's you're always got super wealthy in whatever society you have. You even have it in China, for heaven's sakes. You're always going to have a wealthy, relatively speaking, and they're going to be a few. They're going to be at the top of the pyramid. And then you're going to have a, 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 the rest of us who are not, and they're not, we're not George Soros's. We're not wealthy. And by any stretch of that matters. And Ace, we're doing well, but again, his, historically and, and relatively speaking, speaking in terms of uh, planetary population. But you're always going to have an arist aristocracy in the people. For, for Aristotle, there were only two options. Either the aristocracy was going to turn into an oligarchy and rule the people and 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 basically, you know, uh, punish them into compliance, which is what we have now and what we call our neo-feudal, our re-feudalized situation in D.C. and in Davos and in Brussels. Or you're going to have the French Revolution where the people rise up and basically execute their uh, elites, but you just have to wait a generation. You're going to get a whole new set of elites, right? You're always going to have the elites. So either one of these just don't work long term. Eventually, people are going to rebel against their elites. But once they kill off their elites, you're just going to get some new ones. So what you want is a balance. You want elite who are going to represent the values, interests, concerns of people. And that's what makes Trump so amazing. He's the embodiment of that Aristotelian ideal of the, the billionaire blue collar. But first, how many UFC fans do we have out there? We know that the one and only Donald Trump is a huge UFC fan, as are the fighters of him. But have you ever wondered what they do to manage their pain? Well, you don't have to because a fellow patriot and good friend to this channel is precisely the one who provides relief to that pain, and he's here to do the same for you. You know, gang, we as we age, aches and pains we think of are normal, but they don't have to be. And that's where the groundbreaking medical scientist Clint Winters comes in. You've seen Clint on Fox. You've seen him on this channel. He's a world-renowned health expert who's unveiled a natural pain reliever that's taking the world by storm. It's called Kano CB2. It's the 100% drug-free way to get full body pain relief without dangerous meds. And it's the official pain reliever for the fighters in the UFC. And the best news, Kano CB2 has no documented side effects after years of private testing. It's absolutely the future of relief. So whatever you do, make sure to click on that link below and check out Clint's amazingly informative report on how Kano CB2 is changing lives by providing safe and powerful relief at a fraction of the cost of pain pills. Click on that link below right now. So that's what you want, ideally. And I think we're getting that. We're seeing that. A lot of our, I mean, you see someone like a Vivek Ramaswamy, very, very successful venture capitalist. He's earned tens of millions of dollars. He's 100% uh, grounded in the wisdom and virtues of, of the popular of civilizational populism. He definitely sees the evils of globalism and sees the virtues of siding with civilizational populism. So we're, we're seeing it, you know, all of Peter, Peter Thiel and the like. So hopefully that's what happens. But in the meantime, I, I think really the more research I do, to be honest with you, America the Free, the more I'm convinced it's already happening. 
And what's already happening is, is it's very much, there is a ground up populist revolt of MAGA states that have not yet broken off as their own countries, but they probably could. What makes this hard is that in the vast majority of our counties and state governments and, and the like, local governments, patriots, MAGA folk, Christian conservatives, they don't run as patriots. They don't run for office as patriots. They don't run for office as Christian conservatives. They don't run for office as MAGA. These are more these are more federal national terms. What they do is they run for office as a mom. Or they run for office as a concerned father. Or they run for office as a concerned member of the community for the last 20 years. They're, they, they are running for office via localist uh, relational identities. Where MAGA, you know, Christian conservatism, patriotism is a given. So it's not it's it's not something that's champion as separating me from oh, as over and against this insane New York socialist representative. Over there. I and so what that what that does, the fact that our folk in literally 80 percent of the counties in districts across the country are running and winning in elections where everyone, literally everyone, is a MAGA, hardcore, conservative, Christian person. Um, the hard part with that is it doesn't get it doesn't get the publicity. It doesn't get the notoriety of being the win that it actually is. So one of the things that I've been doing a lot of late, and I'm gonna, and what I'm trying to do uh, to incorporate in our videos, because most of my videos, of course, are national, national news. I'm, I'm wanting to tail end the videos with some local success stories of exactly what you're talking about where we're seeing evidence of MAGA states rising up at local levels, county levels, state levels, where we're seeing, um, where we're seeing our values, our interests and our concerns being legislated and being defended and being lived out in 80% of our country, which it is, which it is, 80% of land mass, which it is. And it's hard for us because it doesn't it it doesn't make the headlines because there's nothing partisan about it. Everybody who's voting is already a patriot. They're already Christian conservatives. They're they're just they just live and breathe this stuff. So um, it makes it very hard for it to bubble up in the partisan, you know, rank ranker that dominates the headlines today. So I think you're, we already have a very strong, very powerful MAGA um, super state. It's already there. I mean, G Greg Abbott's approval no numbers are through the roof right now. It's already there. And um, whether or not it breaks away and whether or not Washington finally just implodes, like the Soviet Polar Bureau, remains to be seen. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to see. But I'm hoping that over time, the health of that MAGA, what I just like to call super state, obviously it's, it's, it's just a, it's an informal like state. It's a, that comes together around shared values, not, not administratively, but that MAGA super state hopefully will be the greenhouse that produces extraordinary political actors who could go into the federal government as our elite, our, our uh, aristo populace, 
and rule on our behalf uh, in such a way that uh, I should say represent us on our behalf in such a way that is uh, is true to faith, family and freedom at a federal level, the way that Trump did in a way that Reagan largely did. And um, that's my hope. But your other two options, the first and the second one, are, are every bit as plausible. We'll just have to see how time plays itself out. I hope you enjoyed that clip of my Monday night Insiders Club live stream. Join us live next week by clicking on the link in the description below and joining the Coalition of Patriots worldwide, building a parallel economy to return to our roots of faith, family, and freedom. Click below right now. Thank you.